today we will discussing about gibbs absorption isotherm gibbs iso absorption isotherm is a very important isotherm because gibbs absorption uh, isotherm relates in between surface tension and absorption as uh, we are talking about surface tension uh, as we know surface tension is allowed only for fluids who are the fluids fluids are those who flow flow fluids are those which flows now fluids are two types one liquid to gas so in case of liquid and gas the surface tension is allowed and here we are talking about gibbs absorption isotherm which is about surface tension and absorption both means gibbs absorption isotherm is about liquid absorption so it this describe uh, liquid absorption and also multi layer absorption whereas others isotherm um, except bet all other isotherm langmuir or friendly explain only about monolayer absorption so that gibbs absorption isotherm is very much important in gibbs iso absorption isotherm as gibbs is present so um, g term should be present <coughs> suppose in 1 and in 2 are the moles number of uh this is for solvent and this is for solute and now if uh, solvent and solute mixed then in the mixed mixture uh, surface area obviously changed and along with surface area surface energy will also be changed as we know uh, surface energy in unit surface area is equal to our surface tension so surface energy equal to s gamma and as we know gibbs energy without considering the surface energy we can write gibbs energy equal to n1 mu1 plus n2 mu2 where mu1 and mu2 are the chemical potential of solvent and solute as we mixturing those uh, solvent and solute then uh, surface energy will be included there now we differentiate this dg equal to n1 d mu1 plus mu1 dn1 plus n2 d mu2 plus mu2 dn2 plus s d gamma plus gamma ds now um, we know from the definition of therm definition not uh, from our previous knowledge about thermodynamics we can say in a open system in open system g gives free energy is the function of pressure temperature and number of moles as here n1 and n2 present so we take n1 and n2 so from this by partial differentiation we can say dg equal to del g by del p at constant t n1 n2 into dp as usual dg by dt at constant p n1 n2 and dt plus dg by dn1 now we can say that del g by del p equal to yeah is vdp minus s dt del g by del t equal to entropy s plus mu1 dn1 okay dn1 p t into semi del g by del n2 p t n1 t n2 so here plus mu2 t n2 now to remember this easily we can say energy by pressure means volume v and energy by temperature is entropy that is s now Mm, here is a dg equation one by uh, considering surface energy we can write this dg equal to v dp minus s dt plus mu1 dn1 mu2 
dn2 as surface area is changed so gamma ds this is equation 2 equating 1 and 2 we can write equating 1 and 2 we can write this and then at constant temperature and pressure this equation reduced to n1 d mu 1 plus n2 d mu 2 plus s d gamma equals to 0 the right hand side will become 0 0 as uh, in constant temperature dt will be 0 constant pressure dp will be 0 now this equation we can say the, this equation is about the whole mixture uh, and absorption and surface tension absorption is a surface phenomenon and surface tension by name it is a surface tension it is about only the surface so um, if we consider only the bulk then surface tension will be omitted Surf no there will be no surface tension factor then only for bulk only for bulk if we say there are n1 0 number of solvent molecule and n2 0 number of solute molecule then we can say n1 0 d mu 1 plus n2 0 d mu 2 equal to 0 and this equation is only for bulk and this is for whole mixture and by subtracting 4 from 3 we can get a equation only about surface because this is about the whole mixture means surface plus bulk and this is only for bulk then surface plus bulk minus bulk on the equation we will get about only the surface that equation will be n1 d okay before this we have to simplify this equation we have to just multiply this equation by n1 by n0 n10 this is only for mathematical step nothing but a mathematical step so multiplying by n1 by n0 we will get n1 d mu1 into n1 by n10 n1 by d mu1 plus n1 into 0 by n10 d mu2 equal to 0 now uh, this this is the equation for now by 4 minus 3 we will get n1 the equation will be like that now now here n1 d mu1 and minus n1 d mu1 gone um, and uh, from this term we will take d mu 2 as common 1 to simplify this equation and we get d mu 2 into n2 minus n1 n2 0 divided by n1 0 equal to minus d s d gamma that is surface tension, surface tension. and now d gamma by d mu 2 equals to n2 minus n1 n2 0 by n1 0 divided by s hmm. now in gives uh, absorption isotherm gives uh, represent this s as a surface area and here now we reach at this equation and this portion is called the surface axis this n2 minus n1 n2 0 by n1 0 by s is surface axis here s is the surface area this is equal to tau um, the reason behind calling is this surface axis is um, in our whole mixture they are in one number of solvent and in one number of solvent solvated into number of solute and in, only in the bulk in one zero number of solvent solvated into zero number of solute so one solvent solvated into zero by n one zero number of solute so total n one number of solvent solvated into zero by n one zero into n one number of solute 
and in the medium n2 number of solute is present in the surface or in the whole medium so the uh, number of solute excess is n2 minus n2 by n1 into 0 by n1 0 into n1 so that it is called the solute excess and as it is per unit area divided by s per unit area so it is called the excess surface excess and uh, this is how it gives absorption isotherm actually it is represented as like this M mu we know for ideal solution mu2 equal to mu equal to mu0 plus at the ln p uh, at the ln a activity here mu2 equal to mu2 0 plus at the ln a this is activity so ultimately if we do that d mu2 equal to 0 uh, plus at the d ln a dlna means da by a so it form minus d gamma by rt dlna rt dlna d l n a rt actually it is equal to minus d gamma divided by rt d a here a equal to tau so the ultimate relation is d gamma by d a equal to rt by a tau d gamma by d a equal to r t by a tau or tau equal to a by r t d gamma by d a when it is a dilute solution so an activity can be represented as concentration that is c so that will be c equal to d gamma by d c o one negative sign you are missing here is negative sign so here will be a negative sign present so this is this is the gibbs isotherm gibbs absorption isotherm and this is another expression of gibbs absorption isotherm when the solution is diluted thank you